everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So we are given a second order linear differential equation and we are going to use reduction of order method to solve this problem. So let's get going. Problem, solve x into d square y by dx square minus of 2x minus 1 into dy by dx plus x minus 1 into y equal to 0. So we are given a differential equation with variable equations, right? And also this is of order 2. Given differential equation, x into d square y by dx square minus of 2x minus 1 into dy by dx plus x minus 1 into y equal to 0. Now we will write the second order equation to standard form okay we'll make it to standard form by making the quotient of d square y by dx square to unity so for that purpose we need to divide whole equation with x or just multiply the equation with 1 by x or both sides of the equation with 1 by x we can say okay so i'll just divide the whole equation with x okay d square y by dx square minus of 2x minus 1 by x into dy by dx plus x minus 1 by x into y equal to 0, right? Then, d square y by dx square minus of, here we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can split the total fraction into two fractions, we'll get 2x by x minus 1 by x into dy by dx plus Again, here also we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we will split the total differential equation, oh sorry, total fraction into two terms. We will get x by x minus 1 by x into y equal to 0, right? 1x gets cancelled from these two terms. We will get d square y by dx square minus of 2 minus 1 by x into dy by dx plus 1 minus 1 by x into y equal to 0. Consider as equation 1, which is in standard form. Standard form of second order linear differential equation. Now, compare equation 1 with standard form of second order linear equation d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r then we'll get p q and r where p equal to minus of 2 minus 1 by x q equal to 1 minus 1 by x and r equal to 0 okay now we need to find the part of CF of 1. So observe P and Q here. We are having P minus 2 plus 1 by X and Q is 1 minus 1 by X. So here we are having 1 by X minus 1 by X. Here we are having minus 2. We are having 1. So I will go for 1 plus P plus Q which is equal to 1. P is minus 2 plus 1 by X and Q is 1 minus 1 by X which is equal to here plus 1 by x minus 1 by x gets cancelled. 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2 equal to 0, right? Therefore, 1 plus p plus q equal to 0. We know that if 1 plus p plus q equal to 0, then y equal to e power x is the part of cf of solution of 1 okay so therefore y equal to e power x is the part of cf of solution of 1 here e power x is u where 
u equal to e power x. We are having u. Let's find du by dx. If u equal to e power x, differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then we'll get du by dx equal to derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. Okay. Since y equal to e power x, so u equal to e power x. Okay. This is our u. Then du by dx is e power x. Okay. Let y equal to u v be the general solution of one already we have u which is e power x but we need to find v right then v is given by b square v by dx is square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx to d by, by dx equal to r by u. Consider as equation number 2. Now substitute p, r, u, du by dx in this equation. Then we'll get d square v by dx is square plus p. So from this formula, after placing p, r and u, du by dx, we'll get capital V. And again from capital V, we'll find small v. Okay. Now substitute p here. We'll get minus of 2 minus 1 by x plus 2 by u e power x into du by dx is e power x into dv by dx plus r 0 by e power x. Then d square v by dx is square plus minus 2 plus 1 by x. Here e power x gets cancelled and we'll get 1 plus 2 into dv by dx equal to 0 by anything is 0. Okay. Again minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled and we'll get d square v by dx square plus 1 by x into dv by dx equal to 0. Right? We are having d square v by dx square plus 1 by x into dv by dx equal to 0. Let d small v by dx equal to capital V. Then d square v by dx square equal to d capital V by dx. Then this equation becomes d capital V by dx plus 1 by x into v equal to 0. Then just take the second term to RHS, we'll get dv by dx equals to minus 1 by x into v. Then 1 by v into dv equal to 1 by x into dx. So here the variables are separable, so we can perform integration. Okay. Integral 1 by v dv equal to minus integral 1 by x. D. So from this we'll get capital V. Okay. Then integral 1 by V dV is log V equal to minus integral 1 by x dx is log x plus integral constant say log C1. Okay. Then log V equal to we know that log A minus log V equal to log a by b then log c1 minus log x can be written as log c1 by x we know that if log a equal to log b then a equal to b right so this becomes capital b equal to c1 by x Right? 
So we are having capital V equal to C1 by X. Let's replace V by D small v by dx. Then the above equation becomes D small v by dx equal to C1 into 1 by X. Now take this differential to RHS. We'll get D small v equal to C1 1 by X into dx. Again, the variables are separable. So we can perform integration integral dv equal to C1 integral 1 by X dx. From this, we'll get small v equal to c1 log x plus integral constant, say c2. Okay, so this is our required v. We are having v and also u, so we can find general solution using y equals to uv. Therefore, the general solution is. given by y equal to uv then y equal to u equal x into v is c1 log x plus c2 which is equals to or this becomes c1 e power x log x plus c2 e power x which is a required solution which completes the problem Or. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.